I think when you cross the border and you're in another country, especially if you can experience the culture of that country, it does change you. For instance, I was at the Great Pyramids in December, and I was inside the Great Pyramid on the morning of December 25th. But I met a, uh, a man my second day in Egypt, and he invited me into his home. He was a tour guide, but he invited me into his home to experience a true Egyptian family, how they eat, how they live, and how they work. So it changes you. I've, I've traveled all over the world with my flutes, and uh, played in tombs in Turkey, in Roman ruins in Turkey. I've played under the Eiffel Tower, in the Arts of the Triumph, uh, uh, the Mont Saint-Michel Castle in France. I've played in Stoneside Stonehenge. I've traveled many places in the Northern Hemisphere. So just when you say crossing the border, I've crossed many borders. Okay, in terms of, I guess, art, in a lot of the music that we have, we like to like the artists like to portray messages, you know, and stories along with our lyrics, you know, things that are complementary or sometimes contradictory, just to bring across certain thoughts, I guess. I had a concussion about five years ago, and since then I had a lot of issues with anxiety and depression. So after that, I started creating art. And I wasn't an artist before, but I started painting after. I had a hard time expressing my emotions into words, so I painted. I picked up a paintbrush, I picked up pens, and I just created what I felt, which is what this is. When I first moved from Mexico, um, I had to face a cultural shock. Why? Because when I was back home, I had a huge uh, support system. I had people that look over me, people that if I had trouble like they would be there to help me and even though like they're a phone call away sometimes I've felt here very very alone and especially with winter and stuff like that as an immigrant no one really no one really tells you how you're supposed to take care of yourself with a different weather uh, with different seasons with a different culture so it was really hard to cope with everything at, at once so uh, most of the times I would just um, block myself uh, and just be alone, try to process everything, cry, miss my family. And then there was a moment where I was like, hey, Daisy, like, you have to get out of it. Um, I still remember exactly like the day that I said, this is it. So I walked to the store and as I was coming back, I couldn't even feel my fingers because the bags were so heavy and it was so cold and I was just, I remember just thinking why am I here, like what am I doing here, like this is not the life that I used to have back home. That was like a moment of reality, of being like hey, it doesn't matter like where you are, like life is gonna like hit you sometimes and you're gonna be alone and you have to be strong enough to, to overcome obstacles. I feel like the biggest border I've crossed is to look at myself, explore every single area, the good, the bad, the vulnerabilities, the parts where I need to grow, the parts that I need to hate about myself, and love them. I told my mom, like, you know, I, I want to make music, you know, like, like I want to be a song, like, I want to inspire other kids, and she told me, like, yo, pick a realistic dream, that's never gonna happen, no one from this country's ever did that, you know, and it's like, it hurt me, because I'm like, yo, I'm your child. You're, you're supposed to be like, okay, you know what? Like, whether you make it or not, I got you, you know? I, what time you went to bed last night? Like, 4 a.m. And I woke up like 12, went to the bank, came back, and started us again. So it's like, I told I'll be here for the whole weekend. I won't get, I won't get where I want to go if I'm just doing it today. Take a break tomorrow. So, you know, I'm just working on it, working on it. And it just keeps me at peace, you know? I like, I love music. I started doing makeup when I was eight years old because I started seeing my sisters and my mom apply it and it just made me more interested in it. So I eventually like built my kit and taught myself how to do it. I think makeup ex like is an easy way for me to express myself because I can like show what I'm feeling on my face. Like I can do, if I'm not feeling like too well but I want to do like a look, I can do something that's maybe darker or like or something that could even brighten my mood, like I could do something rainbow so that it makes me happy. 
and it, I typically do makeup whenever I'm like upset with something because I'm so I'm proud of how it comes out so it makes me happy and it makes me feel better well for me words are the way that I express my emotions and there's a lot of emotions that come up um, in, in crossing some of those borders I remember some of my early poetry that I wrote about leaving my grandmother behind and not knowing if I'd be able to see her again that the pain poured out onto the page and being able to write about it really helps to process that emotion. I use writing as my coping tool in terms of helping me with anxiety and helping me to just calm my brain and to express how I feel. It's important to express yourself so for me it's words for other people it may be uh, painting or music and I find that being in this kind of an environment really brings that forward power of expressing ourselves and our stories through our words creates an opportunity for us to, to heal and to feel better about ourselves. I think art is a great way to communicate stories. I create abstract art and whatever I feel inside I'm able to express it. Well music is um it's a great way, it's a great outlet to like express your emotions and like things you've experienced in the past. And it's also great in the fact that it helps other people who may be struggling in the same thing. So like, it makes people not feel alone in that aspect. Because art is an, like not an easy way, it's another way to express yourself rather than like talking about your feelings, you can show them. It is healing, it is creation at its very best. And when you're finished and say, wow, I did that? Like that's the way I play the music. I get into a zone. But the music that I play also allows other people to quickly get into that zone. So they... You know, when I listen to music, I get certain experiences. And after a while, I wanted to be able to create that for other people. They let the music take them to a place. To a place that separates you from, almost connects you to your soul. I talk less when I'm making music. You know, I'm 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 more in I, I'm I'm at peace. I'll be honest. I uh, I really hated having a concussion for the longest time because it came with a lot of negative things like the anxiety and the depression and losing your memory and things like that. But very recently, I feel like I've really embraced having a concussion because I created art. I've shared my art with hundreds of people. Hundreds of people love my art and. You know, I've sold lots of art, I've done commissions for the city and for bell blocks and things like that. It's a better outlet than like drugs or being indulged in substances. Robbing people or all this, all the other bad stuff people choose to do with the pain that they have. But instead, as an artist, you put it into your music, it's a way better outlet. I guess just what it is to be alive, to enjoy life, to be happy. To, people are able to relate to the art based on how they feel. They can either take what they want from it, they can like the color, or they can connect with the story. And I think that's what's amazing about art and that's what captivates people. I want to make them inspired and feel happy and I want them to feel like they can do the same thing with practice or if they're already good then like I guess they could just do that. <laughs> like I want my, I, when I know I make it is when I, you know, have a show and a few and little kids be like, oh my gosh, your song, I love your song. You know, that's that's what I know I because like yo, I didn't just inspire all the people, I inspired you, so now their their whole mentality changed. I just always wanted to be someone's role model. I'm 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 hurting now because at some point I lost my drive, I'm not gonna lie. I lost my drive, I lost my passion, I wasn't driven, I wasn't as driven as I am now. When you give yourself to your destiny, to your path, there is a reason that you're meant to do that.